Dissatisfaction has been on many Kenyan producers over the increase of Nigerian films in the Kenyan market. Local TV stations opt to source for Nigerian films for their availability and consistency. So why is this? Uh, right now, I wouldn't say we are a film industry. We are a film scene. We are a TV and film scene. Because an industry is ideally supposed to be self-sustaining. should, you know, invest in itself, give itself returns. The Nigerian film industry is the second largest earner in a country of over 170 million people. It generates $590 million annually. This means jobs are created and the Nigerian story is told to millions of people. The Nigerian film industry, riding under the umbrella in Hollywood, produces about 50 films a week. And that is more than Hollywood in the United States and second only to India's Bollywood. I didn't want them to disturb my vision of achieving this project. So where does the Kenyan film industry stand? The Kenya Film Classification Board CEO Ezekiel Mutua says the film industry has the potential of 165 billion shillings. Has it been achieved yet? That potential is even much higher right now. Uh, from the statistics and the, uh, the, the, the uh, survey that has been done, it's actually projected as about 200 billion uh, per annum. But that is only the potential. The reality and what is going on right now, either because of lack of incentives or challenges that the industry is facing, uh, as a movie maker, we're not doing much, despite the fact that we have the best filming location in the world. With such potential, what is the Kenyan producer not doing? I sat down with Jotham Mecca, film researcher and business development manager at Movie Jabba. He tells us more on different distribution channels. There's the commercial level, or the commercial cinema level. This is where we have all the cinemas coming in. We have roughly, I think, eight cinemas in Kenya right now. And then at that level, this is when we look at, obviously, the Hollywood releases, which is a mainstream distribution, mainstream level. These are the big movies that, that grab headlines or make headlines all around the world. Then I think we have the, we have the independent route. You know, this is where you as a producer, you basically, uh, well, as the terms independent, independent say, it's you, it's you. You go in alone, you probably look for um, a distributor at that level, and you, you approach the cinemas directly, or you have different outlets, either festivals, or you have small, small level kind of releases where you don't target as many cinemas, but you have a few select cinemas that you release at. With such distribution channels, do they screen local films? Uh, cinemas here, yeah, cinemas uh, don't screen. Uh, don't screen local releases. Again, it's it's. Um, I know it may not. It may sound like a bad thing, but it's it's more so. It's a game of numbers. You know what makes the most returns. Market research comes out as a very key point if a producer wants to get returns in the film industry. Local producers need to also factor in that budget when they're making their movie, because marketing is everything. You can make your movie, all that stuff, everything else. But just because I personally believe in a certain story I'm telling does not mean that there's a market for it. And how does film quality affect the movie? We do fall short in, in, cer- in certain instances when it comes to quality. But you find when you look at the local scene, you find there's some productions that really have the quality. But then in terms of market research and distribution, they fall short there. What about the stories? Stories, we need to get very creative with our stories. Because a lot of Kenyans are tired. Actually, I know, like, it's just based on research from cinema. What, uh, what, uh, what Kenyans would like to see is let's veer away from this whole aspect of, you know, Kenyan story has to involve AIDS, has to involve, it was really tragic, yes, but I don't believe that we, we need to have movies that now focus on the post-election violence. We don't, we, need to, we, don't need, we need movies that take us away, that take us on an adventure. <sighs> what kind of work is this? And how has Nigeria been able to sustain its market and has the ability to produce 50 films a week? If you were to ask producers right now, any local producer who's complaining about the state of cinema in Kenya, if you were to ask them how many cinemas they have in Kenya, we have in Kenya, they will not be able to answer you. That shows you something. They are in a way, um, they're making a product, but they have no idea where they're going to display it. In 2014, the biggest, pro- the best performing movie in Nigeria was not a Hollywood release, was a Nigerian movie. And they marketed that movie for close to half a year. They had very, very aggressive marketing around it. They had billboards, they had everything. And marketing was something that was factored in. So again, the main thing that we are missing here is market research.